We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ten Vita Blue, the Louisiana-born left-hander, will get the start on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Leading wow, tonight, talk about a man. dominant performance in his last start. Struck out 20 batters. Let's hope he brings that same stuff with him because we might see a lot more K's in this one. Well, boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. And he'll fight this one foul off to the left as the count goes to 0-2. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for rap number two. So here's Jeff McNeil. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0-1. Wave deck missed, and he's behind 0-2. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. And just a masterful job. Marcus Stroman will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Now this gets all the way to the wall. And he'll get there as he starts the home first with a leadoff triple. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league leaders in triples. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Acuna digs in now. Here's a huge swing by Acuna and a drive to deep left. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And the run will score as the Braves strike first. Deleted 1-0. That's the plate, Chipper Jones. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Belted high in the air out to left. Cespedes is going back. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, he might have slept on the wrong side of the bed or something That's last cool. night. He's given up the a double hit. and a triple in the first Damn. inning. And he looks shaky at best. Stepping up now, Dale Murphy. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Runner tags from second as the catch is made here shy of the track. Well, he thought about tagging and moving up, but instead he's back to second. Stepping into the box, Ozzie Albies. And now the Braves look to put more across the plate in this opening frame. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Rosario has a play. And that retires the side. Here's Pete Alonzo. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Now here's the pitch. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Batting fifth, the catcher, number 40. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And it's one and two. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. And this is strike three called. Make it five straight punch outs. Two away now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes him... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire. In order, go the Mets. It remains 1-0.
So next up will be Freddie Freeman as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. Down the third baseline. Stroman, also known as Stro Show at times. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Hey, this guy has been an absolute solid player his entire big league career, and I expect him to have a ton of suitors come this offseason. On the ground to third. Davis has got it. Throw on to first, two gone. Now to the plate, Russell Martin, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. And that is down as that could be two bases. And he is in the second with a two out double. Batting number. No pitcher. Right on. Into the box by the blue. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Nimmo will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that. First pitch on its way. The center fielder, Michael Conforto. Wind up and the 0-1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And he's going to start this inning out the same way he started the previous two. Seven consecutive strikeouts. My word. One away. The left fielder, number 52. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Cespedes, 33 years old. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Got it done. The pit pit. First Walking. offering on its way. Roman. Line softly toward the hole. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. So it's back to the top of the order now. And stepping in is the left fielder, Kenny Lofton. Smoke on the ground up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He hit a sack fly earlier. First pitch on its way. Lifted in the air to center field. Conforto is there now, and it's two pitches, two out. Now batting, third baseman. So bases are empty here with two gone, and standing in now one of the best players of the past two decades, the great Chipper Jones. Base hit into right center. Throw into second. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. Stepping in now, Dale Murphy. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Braves retired on just four. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. One ball and two strikes to count. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Fouled off. 0-2 once more. 
is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Can't start. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Ready for another chance. Ozzie Albies, last year's recipient of the Silver Slugger Award for NL second baseman. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Into center field, line drive base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 2 0 ball game. Dan, back to back pitches, double, then single. Ambush tactics. Like they were there swinging the bats early. You have a double, then an RBI single to drive him. And he's into second safely with a stolen base. Freeman stands at second with no outs. And the runner's breaking for third. Strike called. Now the throw down. And not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead. But he made it work out. That was really impressive. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. The one-two. Well, he goes with the slider that time, and it's driven to deep right field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens, you throw him a strike, and he can hit the ball out of the ballpark like he did just there. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. Gone! Back-to-back -back homers. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Into the box now. Find a blue. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Wow, his manager must have a lot of faith in him, and I'm not sure why. He's given up five hits in this inning alone, and it doesn't look like it's going to come to an end anytime soon. Reined in. One there, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. It's really tough to double up a guy with the speed that he has, and he was hustling all the way on this ground ball. So they should be happy they at least got the guy out at second. It'll be interesting. And hold on there. He got him. Trying to swipe second base, but he's gunned down for the out. Swung on and chopped out to the shortstop. Throw on to first. Will finally retire him as the inning will... Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Late that time for a strike. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0 2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. So he got him swinging. Pete Alonso is retired to lead off the fifth. First pitch is a sinker, too low, 1 0. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two swinging. Count is one and two. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? It will as it's dropped out there. 
Hey, D. Rowe, it's about time they finally break through. We're into the fifth inning, and that's just their first hit of this game. Yeah, Danny, it's been a pitcher's delight out there, but I'm an offensive guy. I want to see some balls moved into the gap. First knock, hopefully this is the start of many. Count is one and two now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Now a double play ball for Chipper at third. Over to Albies. Relay to Freddie. Double play, and that'll end the inning. Around the hole. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Digging in and looking for more. Chipper Jones. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Conforto has it, and it's a quick out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, two-time National League MVP Dale Murphy. First pitch on its way. Drill down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Here's the pitch. One and one. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Five runs, nine hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. The batter, number one. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So a good job for him there to bounce. So stepping in, Mike. Three to the net. The center fielder, Michael Conforto. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Conforto behind the ball and two strikes. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Robinson Cano will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. 0-2 oh, now as Cano comes up empty on that one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunk. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Mets go down one. Justin Wilson enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Here comes the first pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. Rosario's got it. Throw on to first in time, one away. So coming to the plate, Dansby Swanson comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Uh, he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Wilson is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Throw gets him, two down. The catcher, number 55. Digging Russell. in once again, Russell Martin. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Fouled straight back. And he fouls this one off. Pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Davis has got it, and the side is retired. Steve Bedrosian is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. 
number 40. Now back to the top of the Mets order, digging in Ahmed Rosario. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. No balls in one strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Brandon Nimmo comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Swing and a line drive. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And he'll pull into second with one away. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now that. Ready once again, Pete Alonso. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Strike one to start the at bat. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Men on third with two down. And he'll look over to third here once more, and he'll dive back in. Slow roller down the third baseline. And not in time as the run scores. First delivery to him on the way. Wilson Ramos is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Hey, down in the count 0 2, I'd like to see a little choke and poke right here. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires. Brad Brock gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Brad. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Steve Bedrosian. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Kenny Lofton. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Line drive to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Dan, as a former pitcher, are you privy to this guy? I mean, he's been swinging the bat well. I know it's only April, but he's been using the entire field, staying line to line. That's what makes it so hard as a pitcher when you can't go one way when you pitch a guy in. He pulls it. When you throw it away, he hits it the other way. He's having that ability right now just to be able to get the barrel to it, and he's having a real strong beginning this season. At the plate, Ronald Acuna. Here's a huge swing by Acuna and a drive to deep left. Gone! No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that. In the At the plate now, Chipper Jones. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Conforto is there, two gone. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Dale Murphy. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt. But... Hit high and deep to left field. Looking up is Cespedes. And it's gone as they add still another. Hey, in today's game of extreme velocity, if you have mediocre stuff, you cannot miss over the heart of the plate. You have to nibble at the corners. He wasn't able to do that, and he paid the ultimate price. Jerry Spamilia enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Here's a drive out toward left center field. He's around first, heading for two. And this will get all the way to the wall now. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. So he's in the third with his sixth three-bagger of the year. Yeah, and that tells you what kind of an offensive player he is. Very good at hitting the ball on the line, and obviously he's got some decent wheels on him, too. Line towards center field. Conforto is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. 
Stepping in and ready for another shot, J.D. Davis. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. So striding forward now, Michael Conforto. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Owen won the count. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Murphy's under it. Two gone. Stepping in, Yoannis Cespedes. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Yoannis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Murphy's under it. And that ends the inning. Down in order go the. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And it's gone as they add still another. The catcher, number 55. Standing Not in now, ball. Russell Martin. Martin. There's a line drive, base hit to left field. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Three for four. He's looking locked in. So now to the plate, Steve Bedrosian. Liner towards second. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. The left fielder, number seven. And they're back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Kenny Lofton. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Into center field, line drive base hit. Hey guys, I think the pitcher was just trying to steal a strike right there. I do not think he expected to get ambushed on an oh oh get me over breaking ball. But that's exactly what happened. Edwin Diaz will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Jake Marisnik will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Jake Marisnik. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marisnik is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Into the box now, Shepard Jones. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is line to left, and he dives to make a spectacular catch. Here's Jake Marisnik starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. This guy uses that two-seamer to set up his other pitches. Two-seamer in, breaking ball away. 
And that is in the left field. So the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. There's a lot of moving parts in some guy's swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Grounder down the line at third. Soft liner towards first. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. Boy, D roll, that ball wasn't hit very hard, but when you're struggling like this guy is, any knock is a good knock. Yeah, 100%. He doesn't usually get those. He has to square it up mid barrel to find a way to get a knock. He hasn't had much luck this year, but he'll take that any day. Jeff McNeil is next as he finds himself behind 0 1. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. He struck him out, and that's going to do it for the Metropolitans here this evening. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away.